How's it going everybody? Rybrand here today and we are back with another episode of our Arizona Coyotes franchise mode and if you guys remember in the last one we did advance in the first round of the playoffs which is a lot further than I thought we were going to get. I assumed we were going to lose in four maybe five to the Jets uh, but ignore this first game that was the last game of the regular season but then we lost in overtime in game number one. I thought it was going to go well. We did get some injuries. Uh, we won game number two pretty solidly 3-1. Uh, then we lost 3 nothing, and I thought that was going to be the end. Maybe that was our one game we won. But then we won 2-1 in overtime, 2-1 in regulation, and then 5-3 in the final game of the series. Uh, and for that, we get to play the Chicago Blackhawks in round number two. So I did show you guys the lines of the Chicago Blackhawks at the end of the last video, but I will go ahead and preview our series here. Uh, with their line. So Saad, Taze, Kane, a pretty good first line, probably better than ours, especially because they have Patrick Kane. Uh, Perlini, Debrinkat, Cahoon. Uh, Debrinkat's like would be the third best player on our, for, third best forward, I should say, on our team. Uh, then they've got Kajula, Strom, Kunitz. Uh, it's, I mean, they do fall off with Hayden and Isimov Kruger. Like this bottom six is about as good as ours, uh, but they just got that top end talent that I think we don't have. But we do have them beat defensively. I do think I want to say we've got them beat defensively. They have Keith, we've got Ackman Larson, then Yoka Harju, Seabrook, Gustafson, uh, Cuckoo, and Connor Murphy. So, you know, I think we do have a better defensive core than they do, but maybe not, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, and then Corey Crawford is better than Auntie Ranta, but Auntie Ranta's been playing uh, pretty freaking good. So I'll show you guys our lines before we hop in, because I know you guys always want to see the lines, because I didn't make any changes, but we got Keller, Galchenyuk, Kinastroza, Ponick, Schmaltz, Grabner, who... Schmaltz was doing well, Ponick was doing well, uh, Hina Stroza did all right, uh, Christian Dvorak's our leading point getter at six with Kraus and Fisher, then Hosa, Merkley, Cousins, uh, defensively OEL, Demers, Bowmeister, Chikrin, Osterley, Connaughton, we did get healthy, thankfully not going to a game seven, uh, helped us out and we, we didn't have to, you know, we're not without anybody that we would have normally played, so our normal lineup is in, is, is all I'm trying to say. So now it's time to face the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, Brad Richardson has returned to the lineup. Okay, so Brad Richardson is back, which means I need to send somebody down, and that's probably going to be gross. Uh, we'd be under the salary cap. Uh, we'd still be under the salary cap. Does Labushkin make it? No, that doesn't make it work. Uh, can I send anybody down? Uh, the, okay, so I'm going to just do auto-fix roster. Hopefully that doesn't screw too much up. Uh, Richardson is in. Jordan Gross got sent down. Uh, who'd they call up? Uh, they called up Nick Cousins. Was Nick Cousins? No, Nick Cousins was in. I don't know what they did. I am really kind of confused what they did, but Brad Richardson is in there. He's on the fourth line. He played four games, was a plus one, so not too bad. Uh, but there we go. Those are the lines, I guess. I have no clue. I, we're, we're, we won't be in this kind of situation next year. I, I can't believe we're like under the cap floor. Uh, and we made it to round two of the playoffs. So that is that is some good business right there. So Coyotes owner, I don't know who you are, but I am making you money, and you are welcome for that. Uh, I, Oliver Ekman Larson is proud of the team. You know what? I'm proud of the team too. I totally doubted us in the in the first round. I tried to tank, and well, it's the worst tank of all time. Let's just say that. But without further ado, round number one against the Chicago Blackhawks, game one in Chicago because we will be on the road uh, to start every series that we participate in. They take the lead with the Brinkat. It's still 1-0, though, so that's good news. Uh, let's see. It's still 1-0. All right. Um, this third period could tell us a lot about how this game how this uh, game is going to go, how this series. We get a power play. I think we had two power plays. I wasn't really looking. I was adjusting my headset volume. But uh, one guys, come on. There we go. Lawson Kraus. I was going to say, don't get shut out in game number one. A tone setter. And we're going into overtime in game number one. So Lawson Krause, the hero, ties the game. We get a power play. Come on, capitalize on the power play. Oh, we cannot. Uh, I got to watch those shots because whoever shot goes up more, we might get a good chance here. Chicago. And it's Vinny Hinastroza on the, I think he's on the first line. And we get a 2-1 overtime victory. A dying seconds goal. I shouldn't say dying seconds, but <clears throat> a late, late goal from a, uh, who, who was it again? It was Lawson Kraus. Yeah, with like three minutes and nine seconds to go in the game. Three minutes left in the game. We tie it. And then we win it in overtime and steal one on the road. And man, oh man, this team. Guys, it's it's a Cinderella story right now. It's a it's it's may, maybe magic. It could be a magical run. So far, it's been magical. We've won way more games. This is our fifth win of the 
playoffs. We're five and two now in the playoffs, which is I didn't even I didn't even want to make the playoffs. I wanted to finish last in the NHL, but the team wanted to make the playoffs. So credit to the guys in the locker room for making it happen. First period, and uh, Anisimov, and then Patrick Kane. So that's a guy who I think if he if we can keep him relatively quiet, I think we have a chance in this series. If Patrick Kane pops off like he usually does and is like a point per game, because he didn't get a point last game. So if he starts to really turn it on and maybe get a point per game, a 1.25 points per game, you know, starts to do something every game, well, then I'll be a little bit worried. Second period. Oh, boy. Strom and Saad. 4 nothing. I'm going to just quick sim. 5 nothing. And Patrick Kane got himself two goals. And that's what I was worried about. But we're not necessarily in trouble. It is 1-1. That's an embarrassing loss coming off an overtime victory. But we can bounce back. We'll see. Uh, he's fully healed. He's already in, so we're fine. Not going to check the stats. Uh, not too worried about it. But 5 nothing actually does really hurt. Game number three, we're back at home. Can we take both at home? First period, oh, Christian Dvorak, our leading point getter in the playoffs. I think he's on the third line centerman. And we're up one nothing. We are being outshot by six, though, which is never good. Second period, Hinostroza gets himself a goal on that first line. And Dylan Strome... Keeps the game close for Chicago. Anything can happen in this third period. The good news is we do have a 2-1 lead, but we are being outshot by nine. Guys, we need to put some shots on. We can't rely on Auntie Ranta to just, just be a absolutely maniac in that. He's insane. The man is just on God-tier status right now. Uh, besides last game. Last game, not great. But with five minutes to go here in the third period, is he going to steal us this win? And I say steal because, oh my god, 34 saves on 35 shots. We did get up to almost 30 shots with 29. Uh, but still, wow, 34 saves on 35 shots. Surely he's the first star. He is. 971 save percentage. Chena Stroza and Dvorak, two unsung heroes. Well, I probably aren't even unsung anymore. You'd assume that... Guys like Galchenyuk and Keller would be at the top, but they're really not. I think we do need a bona fide goal scorer on that first line. Those two guys seem like passers. Uh, so that's one of the things I will be targeting <clears throat> in free agency, depending on who's out there. Like Jeff Skinner could be a decent guy if he's out there. I don't think he'll be out there, but we'll see who's out there. Free agency aside, every video, this is two straight playoff videos I'm talking about free agents. I'm looking forward to the free agency because if this team could do this, I think we can really bolster our squad and... Well, we might be pretty good in the years to come, but who knows? This cup run isn't over yet because we are up 2-1 in the series. And another game at home. We got a chance to push, push the lead to 3-1. First period, we get two goals. Marion Hosa strikes back against his former team. And Oliver ekman Larson from our defensive pairing goes ahead and gets a goal. But man, oh man, that is hilarious that Marion Hosa has scored against the Blackhawks. Second period. Wow, it is 4-0 as Schmaltz and Galchenyuk both score. And it looks like we'll be going up 3-1 in the series as long as this third period. And Kruger scores, breaks the shutout, but 31 of 32 for Antti Ranta again. But this time, we gave him a good bit of goal support. Uh, four goals, uh, two points for Galchenyuk. That's what you need to see. Marian Hosa, Bo Meester, oh, wow. So it is very spread out as far as our points go. I mean, we don't really have anybody at point per game. Dvorak's at point eight per game. And, you know, we can really thank uh, our defensive play. It's kind of like what the Stars did, how they worried about playing defensively to get into the playoffs and then have been a really, really solid defensive team because they don't score a ton. Uh, but they are a very good defensive team and they have eliminated the Nashville Predators, which, you know, it's doing something right. Maybe this could be something similar to their run. We shall see about where we are now in Chicago. One game from the Western Conference Finals. This could be insane. This would be absolutely absurd if we make it out of this second round. I was not expecting to make the playoffs. was not expecting to win many games in round one. was not expecting to get out of that round. And now we have a 3-1 lead. Can we take advantage and not... Please do not blow this. Do not give Chicago any life. Let's go crush their hopes and dreams right now. Let's go first period. Uh, Chicago gets two goals. Perlini and Kane. Oh, God. Is this going to be like another 5 nothing game? Second period. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be a 5 nothing game because it's 5 nothing after two. And oh, my God. Did Chicago not want to get eliminated on home ice? 8 nothing. We didn't muster a single goal when they put in eight yeah that's that one's that that's a little bit of a morale crusher 
on Tiranto is probably not on his best form, but I'm not going to blame him for an 8 nothing loss. I mean, we didn't even score, so we're back at home. Haven't lost at home yet. Can we seal the deal with uh, home, home ice advantage, kind of? Because, you know, we're at home ice. Let's not let this go back to Chicago, please. First period, nothing. Second period, nothing in it is 0-0, but we have a strong advantage in shots. I think for the first time all series, uh, we've really had the advantage in shots, but we give them a power play. Oh my god, it's a long power play, but we are able to kill it off. Thank goodness. Come on, boys, strike back. We no longer have the advantage in shots. We haven't mustered a shot this third period. There's five minutes to go, and we still haven't mustered a freaking shot in the period. There's our first shot of the period. Two shots in the period. Are you kidding me? And Hayden is going to get himself a second goal, and that is a 2-0 victory for the Chicago Blackhawks. We got two shots in the entirety of the third period in a nothing nothing game. That is two shots they have shot us by 10 alone in that i was happy about the shots we held them to four in the second period so this has been a defensive battle i don't know what to do i really do not know what to do guys uh we just it's it's 10 nothing in the past two games we haven't scored in the past two games something needs to change uh, i think we're gonna put grabner there and put kraus at center Maybe, because, I mean, how, how are his face-offs? Uh, I'm going to put Fisher at center, actually. Uh, and then move Schmaltz up to that first line. Hinostroza there with Ponick, uh and Dvorak. So we're going to change it up just a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but... Oh, man. Ten straight goals. Six straight shutout periods for Corey Crawford and the Chicago Blackhawks. Hold a team meeting. Let's see if we can boost morale just a little bit to get ourselves game number seven. Oh my god, this is this is insane. Uh, I don't I don't I don't care. You've not played like at all. Don't want to deal with that. Game seven in Chicago. The last time we were in Chicago, we got eight bombed. Didn't score a single goal. Can we score one? Please get that monkey off the back. No, that's another shutout period. Is that seven straight? Second period. We each score Strom, Hinostroza. It comes down to the third period. What team is going to be better here in the third? Chicago is getting a decent amount of shots off. So are we. It's not really uh, swinging too hard in Chicago's favor. And speaking of not swinging in Chicago's favor, Richard Ponick scores. And we now have a 2-1 lead in the third period of Game 7. Five minutes to go. Neither team is getting shots on goal. Is it going to end 2-1? Oh, and Patrick Kane. What... A saving goal for Chicago. 34 seconds left. Oh, man, they have all the momentum. I you bet the United Center is hopping right now. 2-2 going into overtime of Game 7 as Patrick Kane scores with 34 seconds left. Antti Ranta could not keep just one more shot out of the net. Here we go. It is the start of overtime. First five minutes go, and Chicago seems to have a little bit of the advantage. They are getting the shots on. Uh, neither team is getting anything right now, but as I say that, Chicago starts to put some offense on. Come on. Come on, Coyotes. I believe in you guys. You've gotten this far. Power play. Take advantage of the power play in overtime, and they cannot do it. And yet, we have 10 more minutes. I say 10 more minutes because the simulation never goes past 10 minutes in the second overtime. Who? It all depends on who gets the majority of the shots to start this second overtime. They get a power play, and Debrinkat scores on the power play in the second overtime of game number seven, and our magical run comes to an end. I mean, oh God, Patrick Kane with a ball-busting goal. Three stars, Patrick Kane deserves it. Ponick deserves it as well. He, he gave us that lead. Corey Crawford, a fantastic series for him, but Chicago with 46 shots on, only scoring three times. I mean, our, our man of the of the playoffs has to be Antti Ranta. I'm actually really happy with how we played. I did not expect to get this far. I've said that, said that multiple times. Second overtime of game number seven in round number two is just great. Darcy Kemper actually played in a couple games and did pretty well. Antti Ranta, really good series. Uh, really good 13 games for us in the playoffs here. Oh, man, it was, it was close, but we just could not get it done. But, guys, that is the end of our run. I will sim to the draft. Uh, and just see where we're picking, because I don't know how many draft picks we have. Little draft preview. We'll do another draft preview before the other one. Uh, we have the Senators pick that's projected to move down to five. 
I think the Senators finish worst in the NHL. So then there's ours, which should be in the mid twenties, low twenties, maybe early te- late teens, I should say. We'll sim to the draft here uh, and see where we are picking. Oh, I, I do have to scout. So you know what? I am going to end the video there. I need to scout. I want to get all the information I can. We'll do the draft lottery and we'll do the draft and free agency in the off season in the next one. But guys, this playoff run was pretty great, and the Ducks are up 3-1 on the Blackhawks. Oh my god, the Ducks. It's insane. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it. Leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one.